Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with a disgustingly dirty 2015 Nissan GTR and today's task is to get it back looking amazing once again. The vehicle has recently been purchased by my customer and going from the condition of it, he's certainly been enjoying it. We do find ourselves with a few extra hidden areas including various grills, air vents, fancy rear diffusers, a funky looking rear spoiler, quad exhaust tips, big wheels and filthy arches to contend with. So without further ado, let's get Godzilla cleaned. The first task like all detailing jobs is to clean the wheels, tyres and arches. Usually these are the dirtiest areas on a vehicle and considering that we always use separate cleaning implements to clean these areas, it certainly makes sense to attend to them first. The wheels and arches are given a thorough rinse down to knock off the loose stuff. Be sure to get your pressure washer deep into the arches and don't miss the inside of the barrels and the brake calipers. We want to make our contact cleaning as easy as possible, so the more dirt we remove within this first stage is going to make our lives easier going forwards. The owner of the car lives down a rather long and winding country lane, and although the lane is half decent to drive down, it gets incredibly muddy thanks to all of the neighbouring farms and constant flow of tractors. This did make for a fun cleaning process whilst attending to the dirtiest areas. In today's video we'll be using products made by a company called Pyramid Car Care and if you would like to get a 10% discount with free shipping then please use the code JP10 at the checkout. Alternatively you can visit the description below for a direct link but don't forget to tap the code in to redeem your discount. Please note during the COVID-19 crisis they are not currently taking orders. I want to make things as easy as I can whilst cleaning through the muck and grime on the GTR so I've selected the Pyramid Car Care Iron Fallout Remover to clean the wheels. The product is applied to one single alloy at a time and given a short amount of time to dwell before agitation with the brushes begins. The product reacts against the iron fallout contamination and like most other bleeding iron fallout removers it will turn the chemical from transparent looking into a deep red colour as it reacts with the metal or ferrous contamination i.e. the brake dust. The product is going to eat through the main contaminant found on a set of wheels and it will allow you to achieve an awesome finish in a very short time. I've already added a small amount of the Pyramid Car Care Ultra Shampoo to the wheel bucket which will aid in adding a bit of extra lubricity and will also help out with the complete wheel cleaning process in general. The Easy Detail Go Brush is my wheel brush of choice for cleaning the inside of the barrels providing that there is enough room between the rotors and the inner barrels themselves. Make sure to crisscross the brush behind all of the spokes so you don't miss any areas. The long bristles on the brush make it a perfect cleaning tool and it really does do an incredible job of cleaning the inner barrels with minimal effort required. The narrow wheel brush was selected for cleaning behind the brake caliper area as the Easy Detail Go brush was far too big. This narrow brush has never let me down on a single vehicle, even with the tightest of gaps between the rotors and the barrels, mostly found on Mercedes vehicles. Be sure to clean the back of the calipers whilst using one of those two brushes, because with detailing, it's all about the details, funnily enough. The Swissfax wheel brush was next to be deployed and this basic yet effective tool is going to clean all areas of the spokes. Take your time whilst cleaning your car because the finished results will make it all worthwhile. Thank you. 
Don't forget to hit the wheel nuts, or as you Americans like to call them, lug nuts, and don't leave the brake calipers feeling left out, so make sure to give them a little attention too. Grab a secondary wash mitt to clean behind the spokes of the alloys and any grooves or gaps between the spokes and the barrels, just like on the Nissan GTR. <laughs> Spray the arches with a decent amount of purposefully diluted APC and for the GTR I'll be using it at around 6 to 1. Take your preferred arch cleaning brush and go ahead and give the arches a good scrub down. Sometimes with detailing it's not all about getting the visible areas clean, it's also about attending to the hidden and rarely seen areas. Why I hear you ask? Well, because detailing. I would normally use a tough shine tie brush to clean the tie side walls, however today I forgot to bring my tough shine tie brush along with me. I'll be using this funky little guy which I can't remember where I got it from and I don't actually think that I've ever used it before. I'm pretty sure it was marketed as a leather brush, however the brush is that shit I've never used it on leather. The bristles are quite stiff, more of a nail brush to be honest, but it did do an okay job at cleaning the tie side walls. Rinse all areas down thoroughly with the jet wash when complete before moving to the next corner. Law four wheels attended to, which is a nice task to get out of the way, the bodywork is treated in a similar fashion by the means of a thorough rinse down to knock off the loose stuff. Before you make any direct contact with the paintwork, you may as well get it as clean as you can to reduce the risk of inflicting any swirl marks into the paintwork. The Kranzel K7 does a fantastic job and the short Mosmatic style gun supplied by a company called Simpsons 1979, link in the description below, has certainly proved to be a worthwhile upgrade over the standard Kranzel offering. There was quite a fair amount of mud and grime on the GTR, so I certainly spent the time rinsing it all down. I don't tend to give the vehicles a massively thorough initial pressure rinse as we still need to snow foam and then rinse again which is when I'll be a lot more thorough. This initial rinse down is going to remove the bulk of the grime, so when the snow foam does hit the car, it'll be able to tackle the more stubborn stuff.
Unfortunately today the tough shine tyre brush wasn't the only thing that I forgot. I also forgot to bring my snow foam attachment. Instead I'll be using a 10 to 1 dilution of the Pyramid Carcass snow foam in a double action trigger sprayer. This will do the same job as the snow foam would but it won't be quite as satisfying to watch. I gave myself a good forearm workout on this sunny Sunday morning whilst liberally applying the pre-wash to Godzilla's bodywork. No areas were missed and I was sure to empty a 1 litre bottle of the stuff to replicate the snow foaming process. After the pre-wash had been given a decent amount of time to dwell, the bodywork was rinsed down incredibly thoroughly. At this point I will spend a bit of extra time ensuring that all areas are thoroughly rinsed because before we move to the contact hand wash we'll want the vehicle as clean as we can physically get it. Not so important on your daily run around or family wagon or even a heavily neglected vehicle that already has an abundance of paintwork defects and imperfections. If there was ever a time to spend a little longer to do the vehicle justice then today would certainly be one of those days. With the GTR thoroughly rinsed down I've loaded the SAMS detailing wash bucket with the Pyramid Car Care Ultra Shampoo and I'm not even joking but I actually heard a slight squeal as I squirted the product in. The GTR is washed in a safe fashion i.e. start with the top surfaces first and then work your way down. Rinse the mitt out frequently and thoroughly generally after each panel and then load with fresh shampoo and reapply to the car. Wash the car in straight lines where possible and check your wash mitt every now and then for any large foreign bodies. I'm using the Incredi Madness Microfiber Wash Mitt which is a wash mitt that is reserved for the nicer or better conditioned vehicles. I spent the time required to get the GTR ultimately clean and I did all of those fancy areas and finicky curves and grills enough justice. Grabbed a secondary G-Technic wash mitt for the lowest areas including underneath the front and rear bumpers, under the side skirts and the painted inner arch lips. The GTR was rinsed down from top to bottom after the methodical hand wash to remove all of the Pyramid Car Care soapy shampoo suds.
time to dry the vehicle and today I'll be using the Pyramid Car Care Quick Detailer as the drying aid, gloss enhancer and general all round finishing product. This is my first time using the product and I'm glad to say that I'm actually very impressed. Missed a few panels at a time with the Quick Detailer and I can guarantee that you will initially be impressed with the smell of the product and the finish that it leaves on the paintwork. It makes drying the vehicle a lot easier and quicker and it does leave a nicely water repellent finish on all exterior surfaces. My current favourite drying towel is the Pure Star Twist and with the bigger size it does mean that you can dry your car with just the one towel which is very convenient. The GTR was dried from top to bottom and a nice level of gloss and shine was added with the addition of some basic maintenance protection. And the lights are out, in the dark you kept pushing on, but then you went too far When you ship a sail and all your dreams are lost Everything is wrong, you feel like it's your fault Just remember, I will be there for you, baby Remember, there's nothing out there to get you Don't forget it, when life feels worse Just Wheels were dried and finished with the same detail spray which once again gave the surfaces a smooth and water repellent finish. You're stronger now than you ever been. You gotta leave now, it's time to catch the wind. You will climb up high and look through the clouds. No maintenance wash should be complete without the application of a tie dressing, although due to Pyramid Car Care not currently having a tie dressing on the market, I've opted to use my personal favourite of Swiss Fat Pneu. Make sure the ties are dry to the touch and then apply the dressing using the Swiss Fat Pneu brush. Allow the tie dressing to dry naturally and whatever you do, don't wipe the excess off immediately. The dressing will eventually become absorbed into the rubber surface and it will leave an amazing, rich satin finish once naturally dried. The small selection of Pyramid Car Care products that I've used in today's video have all proved to be decent products and ones that I'd certainly recommend. This won't be the last time that you see them featured on the channel. Use the code JP10 for a 10% discount with free shipping and please visit the description below for a direct link. The GTR has been turned into a well looked after example just after the basic maintenance wash. I'm finally happy to say that after over 7 years of being in business and with the GTR gracing our streets for just over 11 years, I've finally been given the opportunity to get my hands on one and hopefully it won't be the last. As always thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and please give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram, just search JP Details. Visit the Pyramid Car Care website through the link in this video's description and don't forget to enter the code JP10 to redeem your discount. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.